Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the structure of the nervous system is related to its functions. You should then be able to describe the structure of the reflex arc and explain why reflex actions are important. In the last video we saw that the human body keeps internal conditions as constant as possible and scientists call this homeostasis. Homeostasis involves automatic control systems and I'm showing you one of those here. Remember that all automatic control systems have a stimulus, a receptor, a coordination centre, an effector and a response. Now a key part of homeostasis involves the nervous system. The nervous system consists of two parts. We've got the central nervous system or CNS which is the brain and the spinal cord. And then we've got other nerves running to and from the central nervous system. So going back to our previous diagram, Receptors detect a stimulus and send electrical impulses down neurons to the central nervous system. And the word neurons is another way of saying nerve cells. The central nervous system is the coordination center. This now sends electrical impulses down other neurons to effectors, and the effectors bring about a response. Effectors are usually a muscle which contracts, or a gland which secretes a hormone. Now a key role of the nervous system is that it enables humans to react to their surroundings and coordinate their behaviour. And one way that this is done is through the reflex arc. The reflex arc is a very common exam question, so you need to make certain that you learn all the stages. We're going to look at what happens when you touch a hot object. First, the stimulus is detected by a receptor, and in this case the stimulus is heat and the receptor is in the skin. Electrical impulses now pass from the receptor along a sensory neuron to the central nervous system. Remember that sensory neurons are connected to receptors, and receptors allow us to sense our environment. At the end of the sensory neuron, there's a junction called a synapse. At the synapse, a chemical is released, and this chemical now diffuses across to a relay neuron in the central nervous system, where it triggers an electrical impulse. The electrical impulse now passes across the relay neuron and reaches another synapse. Once again, a chemical is released. This chemical triggers an electrical impulse in a motor neuron. The electrical impulse now passes down the motor neuron to an effector. In this case, the effector is a muscle. The muscle now contracts and pulls the hand away from the heat. And remember that pulling the hand away is called the response. Now, there is one important point that I need to make about reflexes. Earlier in the video we said that the central nervous system acts as a coordinator, and in most cases the brain actually makes decisions about what action to take. However, in the case of reflexes, there is no decision making by the conscious part of the brain. This makes reflexes automatic and rapid, so because they're rapid, reflexes help to protect us from danger. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the nervous system and the reflex arc in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.